I have an overlocker here which is brought to me for repair and I've just stripped uh, it down right down to just the mechanics and the engine. I am using this opportunity to show you a couple of things. The first thing I want to show you are the tension discs. So that's these here, right? So these are the numbers that control the tension discs. And what basically it is, it's just a screw that holds these two plates together. So you might have heard me talk about these plates. Um, they're like two sort of size of a 10p piece, well the old 10p piece, I still say 10p piece. But they're, they're sort of the size of a 10p piece. And there's two of them, if I bring you at an angle, so you can see there's one there and there's one just on the inside. That one stays still and that one sits on a spring. So these are sitting on springs and then just at the back there, I've got the presser foot lever. So there's no presser foot there at the moment, but if I bring that down, you can see it comes down. But also have a look here at the top here that lifts up and it separates the discs. Can you see that? So I've probably even squeeze the screwdriver in there. Okay. So what happens when you use cheap thread, thread that shreds fibers, what happens is as the thread's coming through, they sort of build up inside there. So the best way to clean these tension discs is Put your presser foot down while the plastic casing is still on. So you, so you don't need to strip it down like that, but you can get in between there and just grab a piece of cloth. So don't use dental floss to clean that because it's covered in wax and other things. You don't want to build, cause more problems by doing that. So get a nice clean piece of cotton fabric and just, just give it a clean. So, so you should be able to access them and get into them. So just give them a good wipe down. And when you do that, you'll get rid of all the fibres that have built up in the machine. And um, I've got to give this machine a good clean once everything's back in uh, place anyway. So that's your tension discs. There you go.